take the quiz to find out who you side with. Okay, let's go, boys. What is your stance on abortion? We probably should have it, I guess. Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Yeah, sure. Destiny, I have been watching you for plus years. I have met good dank memers that I considered friends now. Thanks for the chat. Bonus meme, Angel Thump. Should the government continue to fund Planned Parenthood? Yeah, probably, I think so. Oh, and we have how important is this issue? Clearly, Click more options for more depth. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Would the real budgie please stand up, please stand up? I repeat, will the real budgie please stand up, please stand up? We gonna have a problem here. Combo break or meme, or head. Okay, what is your stance on abortion? Pro-choice, pro-life, pro-choice, but ban after the first three months? Pro-choice, I don't agree. The government has no right to ban it. Oh, I guess Just that's... kidding, get fucked. Well, providing birth control sex education and more socialism to help reduce number of abortions. That sounds like a good one. What are you guys doing right now? Can you guys chill out? Holy shit. My face when text ass order says sorry, but it's actually me that's doing it. Degree, degree. Chat, throw me a da. Da, 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 da. Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Yeah. This is the dankest dungeon. Destiny, please consider an IP banning me. I love you. TFW haven't been able to use burn yet. Why are you banned from chat? If Destiny had these refined political views like five years ago, Nathan won't exist. Nice memes. Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Yes. No. Yes, but a lot of churches the right to use same sex term. Oh shit. I'll just say yes. This is pretty important, I think. Um, this is pretty important. Why well, I feel strongly about all my beliefs, so what do I do? Should the government continue to fund Planned Parenthood? Yes, the service which try beyond abortions can save many lives through cancer screening, prenatal service. Yeah, that seems pretty important, no? Should a business be able to die, deny service to a customer if the request conflicts with the owner's religious beliefs? Please unban me, thanks, so I don't, I don't know. This is like a really tough one. Yes, but only for small business. Yes, anybody should be able to deny any service for any reason. Yes, but the owner must post a sign standing their beliefs when they refuse. No, all customers deserve to be treated equally. Wow. I don't know. I, this isn't very important to me. <laughs> I like the idea that privately, if you have a private business, you should be able to refuse service from anybody for no reason, right? But then on the other hand, what if you have like whole groups of people that are like racist and don't want to give service to certain groups of people that would not fuck those people? I'll just say no, all customers are treated equally. This is not that important. Should health insurance providers be required to offer free birth control? Um, oh, other stances. No, it should be covered like any other prescription. No, the government should support abstinence programs. And <laughs> no, the government should not decide what service the private business can provide. Yes, except for religious organizations and charities that oppose the use of contraception. Sure, and it's not that important. Should the government support a separation of church and state by removing references to God on money, federal building? Yeah, I think so. Fuck that shit. Do you support the death penalty? Uh, I don't think so. No, too many people. I don't think I'm going to ask my sentence. I'm going to say this one. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we'll leave this. Should terminate ill patients to be allowed to end their lives with your assisted suicide? Yeah, of course. Sure, we'll just say yes. Should businesses be required to have women on their board of directors? No. <laughs> what? Should not require diversity of private businesses. Board members should be more qualified. Yeah, that's a good one. Should the military allow women to serve in combat roles? Yes, if they can do the thing. Yeah, sure. Should states be allowed to display the Confederate flag on government property? I don't think so. No. seems really weird, no? I don't know, fuck that. Should the government increase environmental regulations to prevent global warming? No, tax carbon emissions instead. No, global warming is a natural occurrence. No, but I'm gonna, yes, and provide more incentives for alternative energy. Sure, why not? Destiny, I haven't come out as a dinosaur to my parents yet, and I'm not sure how. 
Any suggestions? Body. Should national parks be preserved and protected by the federal government? Um, yeah, sure, I guess. Why is there like a, not a reason why they should? Should producers be required to label genetically engineered foods? Probably not. I don't think so. To say, but I'm not super sold on that. I don't know. Do you support the use of hydraulic fracking? I don't know about this one. Increase oversight? Yeah, let's do that. Don't feel very strong about that. Should the government give tax credits and subsidies to the wind power industry? I, isn't wind, like, really shit? Um, government should support more sustainable energy technologies. Yeah, let's do that. Wind power is the best alternative. I don't believe that. Okay, yeah. More sustainable energy. That's always good. Should the U.S. expand offshore drilling? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Is that bad? Yes, and deregulate the energy sector. <laughs> yes, provide more incentives for alternative energy production. Yeah, sure, that's good. Yeah, I've heard lots of bad things about wind. I don't know, maybe it's not. There's a problem storing the energy. Too many turbines using up all the wind. It's not good. Should physically and mentally capable adults on welfare be required to work? Well, they should at least try to find work. No, but their benefits should expire after two years of unemployment. Yeah, sure. No, but they should prove they're looking for a job or an right? Yeah, that sounds good. Yes, anyone requiring government should be required to work. Yes, let me get welfare as it is unconstitutional. Nice. Should employees be required to pay men and women the same salary for the same job? No, the government should never determine. No, there are too many other variables such as education that determine a fair salary. Sure, that sounds okay, I guess. Should all welfare recipients be tested for drugs? No, this is a waste of time and money. Everything I've seen has made it sound like this is a huge waste of time and money. Like, that, the results were like a huge waste of time and money. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Hi, Destiny. I haven't come out as a cuck lord to my parents yet. How should I do it? Cucky. <laughs> I wasn't joking about the use of all the wind thing. A lot of people seem to think that um, even for alternative energies, like, there are limits. Unless you're literally doing, like, solar power, like, there are limits, and drying energy out of the environment has an impact on it. I think with wind power, I've heard that somebody in chat said it. Um, the main downside for wind power is that they are loud. The noise is supposed to be pretty huge. Um, like a really huge thing. They do have an impact, I think, on the weather. Um, unless, like, the one study that I read was wrong. Apparently, it had raised the temperature a few degrees in, like, some of the areas where there are a lot of wind turbines. I, unless maybe there's been more studies that have um, rejected that. I guess somebody can link if that's wrong. And they cost more for solar than, or, and they cost more for solar than cost. Yeah, I've heard that storing the energy for wind is really difficult as well. That a lot of that energy storage is really difficult. Um, but I, I don't know. I'd have to go read more into it. But I've never read anything like I've never in my life read something that that made wind energy sound really good. Everything has made it sound really, really not that great. Um, like it's not very efficient. It's just all the environmental impacts, the cost. I've just I've never read good stuff about wind. It was just like a big meme from the '90s. And but I, but I I mean I could be wrong on this. <coughs> negative effects are negligible i don't know if that's true or not though um wind farms cause global warming okay that's not exactly what we're looking for but oh here we go scientificamerican.com is this actually like a journal None or is of these this... are actually me please stop <laughs> Anyway, does anyone in chat want to have a gay orgy? Wind farms can alter the nearby rainfall and temperature, suggesting a need for more comprehensive studies of future enemy systems by Daniel Kirk Davidoff. I'm not sure if he cites the study by Vautard, 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 and colleagues show the, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I've read a lot of iffy things about um, about wind power. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. Gary Johnson, Ted Cruz. This was IOPG. Okay. 13 more economic questions. Holy shit. 
Should the government raise the federal minimum wage? Yes, make a living wage. Yes, and adjust it every year according to information. No, most minimum wage jobs are meant to develop. No, we will only cause no. Regardless, minimum wage standards should be adjusted by age groups. Um, yeah, sure, I guess. Should businesses be required to provide paid leave for full-time employees during the birth of a child or a sick family member? Doesn't, like, every other country in the world do this except for the United States? In Germany, I think you guys even get, like, uh, paternal leave, don't you? Yes, but only for maternity leave. Yes, but only for companies and 100-plus employees. Yes, the lack of paid sick leave is unfair to working men and women. Yes, but the federal government should sponsor the program instead of business. Yes, but only for sick leave, which is unexpected, instead of pregnancy, which is a personal choice. No, private business should decide. No, too many workers take advantage of these programs. I'll just say yes. Should the government make cuts to public spending in order to reduce the national debt? Probably not. Well, I mean, I don't know. Public spending what? What does public spending mean? That's a pretty broad... No, it cuts public spending on negative spending economy. No increase in tax on large... Chad, I have to spending. confess no something I'm actually Jeb Bush defeals. Uh, should the U.S. reduce corporate income tax rates? Uh, may, how about make it switch to flat tax and no deductions? No, corporate should have to pay the same rates as average citizens. No, and raise corporate income taxes. Yes, but only for corporations that hire exclusively in the U.S. Yes, but I would prefer to abolish corporate income taxes. Yes, but eliminate loopholes and require a minimum tax. Eliminating loopholes and reducing the corporate tax is okay. I think that's a Trump answer, though. <laughs> <clears throat> should Wall Street executives be criminally charged for their roles in the two? Hell yeah, get fucked. They committed fraud and should be held responsible for the largest. Hell yeah. Cucked and fucked. This is the dankest dungeon. All right, Chad. Let's dispel with this fiction that I don't know who's donating. I know exactly who's donating. And I'm going to IP ban the next shit tier memer that tries anything. Do you believe labor unions help or hurt the economy? Um, help, but ban their ability to make political donations. Help in theory, but every system become corrupt and shit other powers limited. Hurt. I support some private unions, but I'm strongly against public labor unions. Uh, I'm not really informed enough on this. I would say help in theory, but recently become corrupt. I don't. I mean, some are pretty bad. I don't know. The teachers unions in the United Auto Worker Union seem pretty sketchy. <sighs> I'll just say this. I don't feel very strong about this. Should the government increase the tax rates on profits earned from the sale of stocks, bonds, and real estate? Yes. Sure. Should the government subsidize farmers I, it seems like the farm subsidies only go to like these huge fucking farms and they get like insane subsidies is this, are farm subsidies actually a good thing i don't uh, this is the dankest dungeon yeah but the problem is i don't think um humanity has finally ran out of wind the only alternative is solar energy, but we ran out of sun back in 2025. Sweats Dini. Yeah, but I don't think, um, I feel like most farm subsidies go to huge fucking farms, not like little family farms. Is that... But how many little family farms are there? Percentage of government subsidies, large farms versus small farms. Will this give us anything? Wow, Kubelikar, welcome to the Tier 3 Cyber Club, everybody. This is the dankest dungeon. MFW Destiny allows bullying and meme jacking in his domain D feels. You've changed my friend. Da. According to what did I do? What's this coming out about? I don't want to say. According to an argument advanced by the Heritage Foundation and other critics of the farm bill, U.S. farm policy is based on the premise that a surplus of crops is lowered crop prices to farm farmers subsidies to cover less income. Have federal government remedies to offer subsidies to increase farmer plant more crops. This creates a greater crop, crop surplus, driving prices down even further and spurring demands for even greater subsidies. Farm policy that encourages overproduction as the effect of increase in total use of pesticides and fertilizers and contribute to climate and wasteland ecosystems. According to the 1998 EPA data, agricultural pollution is a leading cause of water quality impairment in lakes, streams, and rivers. USDA chemical reports show that farmers apply. 40 billion pounds of fertilizer and about 500 million pounds of pesticide. Nutrients from fertilizer and to travel from Midwest farm states down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico, causing a massive dead zone on the Louisiana coast. Loss, the loss of small farms hurts the environment. Critics of U.S. farm policy say it rewards larger industrial type farms and distorts land values, making it harder for small farms to compete and harder to start a successful small farm. Peter Rose, an executive director of the Institute of Farm and Development Policy, wrote a backgrounder entitled on the benefits of small farms arguing that the loss of small farms hurts society and the environment ross it also takes on the myth that small farms are less productive than larger farms excerpts fuck i 
I feel like a website, this website is called organicconsumers.org. So I mean, this might be a little biased. How farm subsidies harm taxpayers. Consume. Is there anything, can somebody find me a website that says good things about? Learn how subsidies, externalities, and agribusiness's market control affect A handful of corporations now dominate most aspects of the food system. Supporters of the new industrial model boast its efficiencies, touting its ability to produce huge quantities of cheap food. The analysis, however, fails to take into account the many hidden costs, including declining rural economies and farmer livelihoods, environmental damage, and public health consequences. All right, we're going to say fuck farm subsidies. Fuck it. Do you believe labor... Should the government increase... Yeah, should the government subsidize farmers? No, fuck off. Would you favor an increased sales tax in order to reduce property taxes? No. Property tax is the most reliable and consistent form of state revenue. Sure. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Destiny, clicky clicky, any politician who is against nuclear power is a retard. Percent of Ontario's power is coming from fossil fuel at the moment, barely more than wind. Oh, somebody linked this picture. Yeah, wind turbines are supposed to be really, really, really fucking loud. It's really crazy. Like, if you think a lot of the stuff I'm saying is crazy, I encourage you to go look it up. Because if you're, like, a kid of the 90s, right? Like, wind power was one of those things that was supposed to be, like, wind and water, hydroelectric dams or whatever. People are like, oh, wind is, like, so fucking dank. Oh, my God. Like, <clears throat> solar or the... I don't know, mate. The wind power is supposed to be super fucking dank. But um, but in reality, it seems like wind power is just not very dank at all. It's not a good meme at all. Like, it's very fucking loud and annoying. And it warms places up. And Guys, quick switch memes from Bajee to Bombjin. Everyone highlight Bombjin over Russell Long Neck. Um, should pension plans for federal, state, and local government workers be transitioned into privately managed accounts? Probably not. People are too fucking stupid. Yeah. Should the Federal Reserve Bank be audited by Congress? <laughs> on one hand, I mean, some oversight over the Federal Reserve seems like it would be a good idea. But on the other hand, I don't know if I want the current Congress. <laughs> um, Can you show this on stream? We need new emote. <laughs> what? Link it in chat. No, in order to stabilize the financial system, must be an independent of congressional oversight. Oh, fuck. I don't know what, I don't know what the answer to this is. I guess I'll say yes. I don't really don't trust Congress to like audit the Fed though, or to do anything with our money supply. Like I don't like Congress. Like those people barely seem like they have any fucking idea about anything. Like, do I really want them going over? Like, do you really want Congress people? Like, can you imagine the current Congress deciding like just a conversation of them about the benefits, the pros and cons of like quantitative easing. Like I can't imagine very many people in Congress. Fuck me. I'm going to say no. And it's not very important. I don't know. Should the government classify Bitcoin as a legal currency? No. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, oh, not the legal U S currency, but just as a legal currency. No, it's a fucking commodity. Fuck that shit. Do you support the trans Pacific? Wait, it, uh, gold and silver aren't legal currencies, right? Those are commodities. Right? Yeah. Do you support the Trans Pacific Partnership? Um, no, there are too many provisions from the specific agreement. Oh, it's not, yeah, sure, why not? I'll say no. Click. Okay, we got skunk spray or licorice. Ready? One, two, three. That's skunk spray. <laughs> oh. This is the dankest dungeon. Hey Destiny, I'm going to stream some extremely dirty gay porn in your chat later. Care to give me some advice? Sorry. Thanks. Much love, Bomb Jin. Wow, Bomb John, you're quite the edgester. No, it's supposed to burn. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Quick guys, Bomb Jin didn't react. Everyone highlight ADHD for getting T4 clap up. Oh my fucking god. This is like a fucking 12 hour fucking SAT. Holy shit. Uh, should there be more restrictions on the current process of purchasing a gun? No, but increased penalties is going to run out. Yes, require strict background checks, psychological testing, and training. Sure. 
Should people on the no-fly list be banned from purchasing guns and ammunition? I don't know. How do you get on the no-fly list? Yes, and ban the sale of guns and ammunition. Anyone? Yes, but not until the no-fly list can improve your accuracy. Includes due process. Yeah, due process sounds good. That's a real American thing. Should there be term limits for members of Congress? Uh, no, officials can valuable experience become more effective representatives over time. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. We'll say yes. Are you in favor of decriminalizing drug use? Yes, most, but not all drugs. Retroactively reduce sentences for those already serving time. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a pretty good one. Should the NSA be allowed to collect basic metadata of citizens' phone calls, such as numbers, timestamps, and call durations? No, it seems pretty bad. No one abolished the NSA. Is this for Rand Paul? No, only with a warrant um, showing probable cause of criminal activity. Should victims of gun violence be allowed to sue firearm dealers and manufacturers? No, what the fuck? Only held liable for negligence. Should the internet service providers be allowed to speed up access to popular websites that pay higher rates? No, what the fuck? No, treat all traffic equally and continue the openness of the internet. Yeah, there we go. Should corporations and unions be allowed to donate to political candidates? <sighs> no, fuck that shit. Should the government raise the retirement age for Social Security? Yes, people are now living longer than when the program was created. No, this will disadvantage low-income seniors whose life expectancy is lower than wealthier seniors. Uh, probably that one, I think. Do you support affirmative action programs? Um... Regardless, we should create more social programs to address poverty. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you support the Patriot Act? Probably not. Should Apple unlock iPhone? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, no, backdoors can expose them as known as malicious hackers. Should the redrawing of congressional districts be controlled by an independent, nonpartisan commission? Yes. Yes, switch to multi-member, partially selected redistricting system. Jerry managers and unfair financial parties? Yes, this is a big one. Gerrymandering is actually really fucking retarded. Like, don't look up gerrymandering if you have, like, high blood pressure. Holy shit. Should the government be allowed to seize private property with reasonable compensation for public or civic use? <laughs> um, this is imminent domain. Um, no, unless it is for an oil pipeline project. No, the government should never be allowed to seize private property. Yes, as long as landowners are fairly compensated, the projects will benefit the community. Yes, but only if landowners compensated drastically above fair market price. Yes, but only for public projects and never for private projects. Yes, but only in extreme cases of national emergency. We'll say for public projects. I guess it depends on what it is. Where do you stand on healthcare issues? Oh my god. Oh shit, we're almost done, boys. Oh my god, that foreign policy one. Fuck. All right, we're almost there. Do you support the pa the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act? Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, supportive of the in all aspects. Yes, but a mandatory single payer system would probably be better, I think. The NA is it an NH NHS? Is that what you guys have in Great in Great Britain? What's it called? <laughs> what the fuck is your abbreviation for this fucking bullshit? Oh, it is. Fuck, I'm so informed. Holy shit. Should the federal government require children to be vaccinated for preventable diseases? Yes. But with exceptions for those whose religious... No. Yes, they're essential. Yes. Do you support the legalization of marijuana? Yes. And immediately release anyone serving time solely for drug offenses. Should the federal government increase funding for health care for low-income individuals? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not. Before switching to single pair. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, somewhat. Where do you send it? Should a photo ID be required to vote? Yes, it's for voter vote. No, it's no news. You don't have the resources to obtain one. No, and automatically register every citizen to vote when they turn 18. No, and there's little evidence that voter fraud even exists. I haven't seen that much evidence of, like, voter fraud being a massive issue. So I'm just going to say no, and there's little evidence of it existing. I'll just say that. I don't know. My, my I guess my mind would change if there was, like, really evidence of widespread voter fraud.
What do you send on criminal issues? Should prisons ban the use of solitary confinement for juveniles? No, but it is currently being overused. I don't know. Fuck all about this. No, does that here violent criminals who are dangerous and smells on inmates? Yes, and we should create more social programs to help prevent and rehabilitate criminals. Yes, and it's severely psychologically damaging to young and development. I don't know. We'll go with the friendly answer. Here we go. <clears throat> what do you set on foreign policy issues? Should the U.S. accept refugees from Syria? Yeah, probably. <sighs> yes, but only accept families. No single Muslim men. Yes, but we should accept much more than pros 10,000. Yes, but only after accepting the can you use modern and ensure they have no terrorist connections? I mean, that sounds like a good one, sure. Should foreign terrorism suspects be given constitutional rights? I mean... Give them a fair trial and shot. I feel like this is like kind of an important thing for the United States. Do you think so? Trying to military but not subject to torture. No, they're not U.S. citizens and do not have constitutional rights. I will say, sure. Should the government decrease military spending? No, increase military budget. No, but limit profits made from military contracts. That's probably a good one. Do not change currently. I will go with this one. Should the U.S. formally declare war on ISIS? No, we should not legitimize ISIS as a sovereign entity. No, we should stay out of Middle Eastern conflicts. No, not until they... I'll just say this. Should every 18-year-old citizen be required to provide at least one year of military... service? No, fuck that. What the fuck? No, service should be a choice. What the fuck? This is the USA, mate. Should the U.S. remain in the United Nations? Probably. Should the U.S. continue to support Israel? Um, we should be less involved. We should give equal support to Israel and Palestine. Ooh, that's an edgy answer. Let's go with that one. Should the U.S. send ground troops into Syria to fight ISIS? No. I don't even think that's possible. Conduct targeted airstrikes instead. That sounds like a good one. Should the military fly drones over foreign countries to get intelligence and kill suspected terrorists? Yes, but only permission from the country in question. Sure, why not? I don't think that'll ever happen, but... Do you support President Obama's move to lift the trade embargo from Cuba? Hell yeah. Should the U.S. increase or decrease foreign aid spending? I fucking... I'm satisfied with the current amount of spending? Sure. Should the U.S. conduct military strikes against North Korea in order to destroy their long... Holy shit. We should let China address this issue. Shouldn't China be doing something about this shit? We must use every diplomatic option first. That sounds good. Should the U.S. prevent Russia from conducting airstrikes in Syria? Well, I mean, Turkey's already doing that, right? Do we need to... <laughs> no, we should not get involved. No, we should let the Russians take out ISIS. Yes, we should establish an old... Oh, no, fuck that shit. Should the U.S. continue NSA surveillance of its allies... Spying our allies severely damages our reputation abroad. Probably. I don't think many, I don't think the other countries in Europe are happy about that, were they? Didn't Germany get really fucking mad? I feel like Germany is the only country I ever fucking hear about. Should the U.S. overthrow President Assad of Syria? This seems like a really bad idea. I'm just going to say no on this. <sighs> All right. Three more categories, boys. Holy shit. Do you support increasing taxes for the rich in order to reduce interest rates for student loans? Yeah, sure, why not? Do you support common core national standards? Yeah, I support the concept, but not the current implementations. Sure, let's do that. Should Muslim immigrants be banned from entering the country until the government approves its ability to screen out potential terrorists? Banning immigrants based on their religion is unconstitutional. It seems kind of fucked up. Should illegal immigrants have access to government-subsidized health care? I mean, probably not. Yes, if they pay taxes. How do you, an illegal immigrant, that how do you pay taxes without a social security number? Is that even possible? Well, I guess you can pay, like, sales tax. I don't, I don't know about this one. Should the U.S. increase restrictions on its current border security policy? No, just avoid the current border. I mean, do we even do shit at our border? What is the <clears throat> um, isn't it like 32 by 32 or something? I don't know. Is it, is it Seen, yeah. 
would know, maybe. Should the U.S. increase restrictions on its current uh, Should illegal immigrants be offered in-state tuition rates at public colleges within the... <laughs> what? No, it sounds stupid as fuck. No, what the fuck? I don't know about this shit. Should immigrants be required to learn English? No, America's built on diversity now, but more multilingual translations from government documents and services. I feel like learning English is pretty important, but I'm not going to be big on this one. Should children of legal immigrants be granted legal citizenship? Uh, they must formally apply like every other new citizen. Yeah, I think that should apply, right? Should local law enforcement be allowed to detain illegal immigrants for minor crimes and transfer them to federal immigration authorities? Our whole immigration system is so fucked up that it's really hard to answer these questions. Like, is this, are we answering these questions in the context of our current completely fucking broken immigration? Or are we answering these questions like in the context of if our immigration was functioning really well? Like, Oh, I'm just saying not important. Should working illegal immigrants be given temporary amnesty? Yeah, sure. Create a simple path to citizenship for nonviolent criminals. There, okay, that's the one I feel big on. Should the U.S. increase or decrease the amount of temporary work visas? <laughs> Fuck that shit. The government should provide more incentives to prepare citizens for these jobs. Should the government fund space travel? Hell yeah. That would be sick as fuck. All right, boys. All right, we're gonna dive into the big memes. Good luck. <clears throat> Show me where's my Hillary girl at. Is this the Fiorina chick? Or maybe I'll be a Carson dude. Oh shit, we did it, boys. <laughs> we, we got we got the bird dog. Oh, Donald Trump is hanging in there at uh, 31%. Nice memes. Wow, I'm quite centrist. Wow, I feel so middle of the road. But now the Trump people are going to be even more harsh on you. Yep. And call you a Bernie Big Brother. Wow, I am 52% pacifist. I'm so peaceful. Where is Aslan at? Aslan lives in Madrid. Is he over there? 